First, how I perform tests. I don't have other options at all. I have eight years old computer and it's USB 3.0, probably Gen 0. And that's why no matter what, it's gonna show me 450 megabytes like M.2 or SATA SSD, 450 megabytes Kingston. That's why I don't really have way to check speed, but it's not what I was looking for. I was looking for test heat. Let's first check this one, this one. This is Next Star S X made by Ventec, like docking station M.2. There's a three types of M.2, 2242, 2260, and 2280. It's USB Gen 3.2. In a box you get just docking station and USB Type-C. Because I don't have USB Type-C, I used this adapter, C to regular USB 3.0. How to change? Just swap rubber thing. How insert? You just insert, you want a little bit move back, or you just squeeze it, it's gonna fall in a gap in a rubber. Aluminum, rubber from sliding, small piece of plastic, and button. When you insert in computer, it's not gonna turn on right away. You need to press button, it's actually a good thing. And in my computer, I tried to copy 160 gigabytes, and it's copied 230 megabytes per second. It's slow, but I have way to check out a way. This is just, if something happened, I can get access to different way from M.2. Overall, suggest way too expensive, way too expensive. I saw in Amazon different kind, twice as cheaper. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna buy it, maybe not. I don't really need. If I had a lot of subscribers, I would definitely buy because I don't have, I might not. Now about heatsink. First, was what was included? Manual, bag, screwdriver. Not too bad, it's do the job. <laughs> and funny part, cap, it's not just cut piece from longer piece. It's actually closed. I don't know why they do that. It's a waste of money, literally, literally. And adapter, 2230, 2242, and 2260. You just break it, put it flat, and that's it and two extra screws. Good. I'm gonna show in the picture right now. Bottom piece where the heatsink, it's flat. It's actually pretty good. Bottom piece, holes is a little bit adjustable. This is a good thing. That's why I choose this time this one. I reviewed other one. Link will be in the description. It's not good review, but whatever. And that's why main thing was adjustable heatsink because of thermal pads and pressure, most important. It's aluminum. And now, what I don't like. In a picture and marketing, it shows it's a line, but it's not. It's still working, yeah. And I think looks like somebody did in garage bend heat pipes. It looks still nice. It looks really nice. Does it work? I don't have heat gun. This is, and I checked how much they cost. They cost fortune. Cheap ones, there's no point to buy them. But with the hand, it gets hot. I don't know, maybe because of this, but it's transferring heat. Pretty good, actually. Really good, surprisingly. Transferring, transferring data, like maybe really short period of time, it's already warm and hot. And pipes are more hot than top part. It's mean they kind of working, I think. I removed M.2 fast as possible, and it was not so hot as heatsink. I don't have heat gun, temperature, checker, but I just checked on my face. Would I choose different one? I'm not sure. And thermal pads and this one feels like thermal pads, not like double-sided tape, like previous heatsink. It's garbage. This one, it feels. I don't know. I don't know if I said price. Price will be on the side. There's a different one, heatsinks with a fan. Problem, they're not adjustable, looks like. They're just maximum speed. That's why I, don't, I didn't buy that one. Instead, you could get, if you want fan, I think 10 millimeter, and just put on top, on the side, whatever. And they are quite quiet, not really loud. And they are pretty good. Oh, it's Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi fans. Actually, surprisingly good. I used for my phone controller when I was playing Call of Duty. How you insert? It's easy. 
just slide and then it should snap inside if it does don't want to go a little bit pull back and there is and it's perfectly flat actually yes it's actually flat i didn't look before it's actually i noticed actually it gets a little bit warm it's uh transferring transferring heat to the case too while gaming it doesn't get hot while transferring huge files yes but i read that it's okay it goes up to 70 degrees celsius working temperature plus minus 50 degrees shame i can't test it maybe in the future someday